hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel maison african motives in this platform we shall be working on the question on electricity that is uh, from one of the question papers here we are given the question on electricity on question number seven so we shall see how we can uh, actually attempt this question so if you're new to my channel you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that we shall be having from maison african motives okay so quickly rushing through the question that we are given um we are given yes electricity guys take note uh the first question of seven one is to state two very important this is two very important okay uses of electro plating in manufacturing industry and in engineering electro plating okay so guys uh, the basic thing is uh, actually the resistance of wear and tear and also the protection against uh, corrosion okay so these are the major two things that you need increased wear resistance and corrosion uh, protection that is a uh, uh, the major important part that you need for electroplating okay then a circuit consists of six volts on 7.2 okay so take note on 7.2 we are given a circuit which consists of six volts battery and two parallel resistors 4 ohm and 6 ohm and a resistor of 0 0.6 ohms in series okay ignore the internal resistance so technically we, we are told there to ignore the internal resistance of this circuit okay so uh, always guys try by all means to just have a simple sketch that you are going to to use in order to for you to attempt the question so we have a battery in this case which is connected to two resistors which are in parallel so this battery is the one that is connected to the resistors which are in parallel okay so let's just give a parallel circuit like this so this is going to be the parallel circuit okay so these two resistors are in parallel then these two resistors are now connected in series so there is a series resistor of 0 0.6 ohms okay so 0 0.6 ohms a series resistor so you have a series resistor like this of 0 0.6 ohms something like this okay so that's your 0 0.6 ohms here and um, this is uh, the battery remember the battery of six volts on the battery here so you have six volts and the, the parallel resistors another one is four ohms and another one is six ohms so we have got four ohms and uh, six ohms like this okay so this is what we are having and you asked not to involve any internal resistance here the internal resistance is not involved okay so the first question is to calculate the total resistance of the circuit okay so we do not have internal resistance we just have these two parallel resistors at the series circuit so it's going to be easier for us to we have the total resistance we are going to have the resistance of the parallel this one we combine these two parallel resistors together so we have the parallel plus the resistance of the 0 0,6 ohm so it doesn't make sense but that's what we are having in actual sense okay so remember for the parallel uh, circuit we are going to use a product of the resistors over the sum of the resistors so someone can name these resistors like one two three four yeah one two three you can name this as one as two as three so this will be like r3 okay still it's one and the same thing so like i was saying that for the parallel circuit you're going to use product over sum of resistors in order for you to have the total resistance so we have four and six so the product is going to be four by six over the sum which is four plus six then plus the resistance of the 0 0.6 which is in what which is in a parallel circuit in a series circuit okay so in a series circuit you just add the two okay so uh guys what you actually need here is to use your calculator properly uh 4 by 6 over 2 over 4 plus 6 then you add 0 0.6 make sure that you use your calculator properly that's 4 by 6 over 4 plus 6 which is uh, actually going to give us 2,4 okay so this one is going to give us 2,4 plus 0, 0,6 so if we add this uh, properly you must obtain something like 3 3 ohms okay so this is the total resistance of the circuit which is a uh, 3 ohms 
Okay, so that's what we had for this circuit. Let's see the other question. The current in the circuit. Okay, so we need the current in the circuit. Okay, so that is the total current actually when you're asked to calculate the current in the circuit because this is the circuit that we are having here. So the current, uh, we are referring to the total current that is going to flow and this current is the same throughout of the circuit, okay? So the total current, uh, this is 7.22, where we need the total current. So the total current is actually going to be the total voltage uh, or the total EMF, so it's total over the total resistance of the circuit, okay? So the total here is there, we have a six volts, which is the total EMF of the circuit of the total voltage there, which is six volts. Okay, so we have six over the total resistance. The total resistance is the one that we just calculated now and we obtain three. So that's a three there. So if you divide properly, this is going to give you two amps. So the circuit is a, uh, a current of two amps, which is flowing throughout. So here there is two amps, which is flowing throughout the circuit. Okay, that is what we had. Uh, for the total current of the circuit or the current in the circuit then the current On 7.23 you need the current in the 4 ohm through the 4 ohm resistor Okay, so the current that is going to flow through the 4 ohm resistor. So we need to Know which one is the 4 ohm resistor. This is the 4 ohm resistor Okay, I have always explained this question guys that in a parallel circuit the voltage is the same Okay, so what you need is to calculate the voltage in a parallel circuit. Remember, these two are being combined together to give us the total of the parallel circuit. So what you need is to calculate first the parallel voltage, which is the total current, because current is the same throughout. The current is the same. Then the combined part of these resistors, which is the R parallel. Remember, voltage is current times resistance. So it's the total current multiply by the total resistance uh, of the parallel circuit okay so what is our total current the current is the same remember so it's going to be two amps so we have a current of two amps multiply by the total resistance of the parallel circuit remember when we did product over sum uh, when we are calculating the total resistance we did the product over sum here of the parallel circuit which gave us two comma four so this is your parallel uh, resistance the total resistance in the parallel circuit which is 2,4 so if you multiply properly 2,4 and 2 you must obtain 4,8 volts okay so this is the voltage in the parallel circuit okay why are we calculating this voltage because I said the voltage is the same so there is a voltage here drop which is the same in the parallel circuit so in order for us to have the current now in the 4 ohm resistor it is going to be the voltage since the voltage is the same in the parallel circuit so it's going to be the voltage of the parallel circuit divide by the resistance of the what of the 4 ohm resistor that we are given so it's 4,8 which is the voltage over the resistance of the 4 ohm resistor here which is uh, we are talking about 4 so it's going to be 4 like this or you can write as R1 so if you divide properly you are going to obtain 1,2 amps. Okay, so that's 1,2 amps. So that is what we are having as the total uh, current or the current that is going to flow through the 4 ohm resistor. You need to calculate the total voltage of the parallel circuit, then the current, because voltage is the same, voltage is the same in the parallel circuit, not in the series, but in the parallel circuit. So do not confuse uh, this question with the the parallel circuit no it's for the series it's for the series and parallel they are different okay then let's see another question a single transformer a single transformer has a supply it's a single phase actually it has a supply voltage of 220 volts and a primary current of 220 amps at full load okay so the supply voltage is the voltage at the primary so let's just try and list down the information here on 7.3 so what are we given we have the supply voltage this supply voltage here okay so this supply voltage is the voltage in the primary remember in a transformer so we have the voltage in the primary 
of 220 volts what else do we have we have the current the primary current of 20 amps at full load okay so at full load the primary current is 20 amps okay they are 50 primary turns and 280 secondary turns the number of turns on the primary they are 50 turns okay and 280 on the secondary turns 280 secondary turns on the transformer okay so the secondary train turns in this case is 280 okay so these are the number of turns that you are given okay so the first question is to calculate the following the secondary voltage okay so this one you can actually use the the ratio uh, of the number of turns the current and so forth because you are given current you are given the voltage the number of turns and this one so you can actually use any because we need to calculate the secondary voltage so using the ratio uh, between this it's going to be vp primary over the secondary is equal to number of turns in primary over number of turns in secondary which is current in secondary over current in primary so current opposes okay so we can use this part here since we have the number of turns complete and also we have the primary voltage is there so we can actually find vs okay so that's vp over vs which is vp is 220 that's your vp so it's 220 over vs which is going to give us uh, np over ns so np is 50 over ns which is 80 to 8 so it's 50 over 280 like this okay that's 280 so what you need guys is to find a, um, vs so you can actually cross multiply and um, divide so it's going to be 220 by 280 which is 50 times s times vs so it's going to be vs then you divide by by 50 in this case so your vs is going to be this combined 220 by 280 combined together then you divide these two by what by 50 that is what you are actually going to to have something like that on the display of your calculator okay so you can just put your fraction that's 220 times 280 over 50 so you're going to divide by 50 take note which is going to be 1232 that's 1232 volts which is the the voltage that you are actually obtaining so that's what we had on uh, 7.31 so this is was actually 7.31 where you are actually calculating this okay which is the secondary voltage and then we have the voltage per 10 so this is the voltage per each 10 per 10 okay so in order for you to calculate the voltage per 10 uh, you are going to actually use you can use the voltage in the primary or you can use the voltage in the secondary but the voltage per per 10 it's actually the voltage per number of what number of tens so if it is primary you're supposed to divide by number of tens in the primary okay so that is the idea there so we have the voltage in the primary remember and also the number of tens in the primary so you can just use this or you can also use the secondary okay so when the primary is 220 and the number of tens in the primary it's 50 okay so that's um a vp which is uh, 220 220 volts over the number of turns in the primary which is 50 so you have 50 turns in the primary okay so if you divide this we are going to have uh, 220 divided by 50 it's going to give us something like 4,4 uh, so that means we have 4,4 volts per each 10 per each 10 take note guys it's voltage per 10 the voltage per 10 so it can be secondary voltage over the number of tens of the secondary it must give us the same thing remember what we obtained on the secondary voltage uh, where is our secondary voltage but if you are to use this same concept you must obtain the same answer there okay so the secondary voltage was 1232 1, if i'm not mistaken okay divide by the you divide by the number of tens in the secondary which is 280 so in the secondary we have 280 like this so it's going to give us the same thing 4,4 okay so that's the 
voltage per turn so it can be the primary over the the primary voltage over the number of turns in the primary or it can be the secondary voltage over the number of turns in the secondary but still you're going to obtain the same answer as the voltage per turn so it's voltage per turn voltage divided by number of turns okay so that's it guys uh how that's how they ask these questions on uh, electricity so as you can see they're actually having the same concept or the same questions throughout just a repetition of questions so not to miss these classes or not to actually uh, get away from these uh, questions make sure that you subscribe to my channel Mason on african motive so that whenever we have these classes you can actually know and work with us so that you can revise preparing yourself for the exams which are ahead of time so remember the exams they are there we need revisions much revisions before exams you pass before exam you don't pass in exam no you pass before exam so you prepare so that you pass before exam so that's it guys from Amazon african motives till we meet again